Hey everyone, welcome back to part 5 of my hill climber tips, tricks, and uh, hints. Now, of course, if you haven't watched from part 1 all the way to part 4, I would recommend you do that. So, like that, you can, uh, you know, see how it's been progressing so far. Anyways, this uh, will, of course, cover all the new things that the latest patch uh, had to offer, that being the truck and the diesel 4x4, that being the super diesel, whatever the hell it was called. And, uh, of course, uh, the old news is being that uh, tank bug fix, which came out as well way before uh, this patch. Now, anyways, let's get down to the interesting part. Now, the truck, of course, is great, but uh, really has very little downforce, so going up uh, vertical hills isn't that good. Most people will think it's good for the forest, but once you get a lot of small, sharp hills or... Uh, sharp uh, climbs it'll easily get stuck or flip backwards though uh, the truck is wonderful in the beginning stages of forest as it uh, provides of course a lot of weight and the ground uh, is ideal that of course being straight so the truck's uh, greatest potential is truly on the highway as uh, the weight keeps it mainly on the ground and prevents it from getting too much air time and of course its wheels and power when fully upgraded provide more than enough power to get over any smooth hill that the highway has to offer. Which brings me to another point which is air time. Getting air time is great but if you get uh, air time and aren't moving forward at a good pace then the air time is pretty much slowing you down so it might just be better to slow down a bit and move forward at a slower pace on the ground than being in the air. Uh, that's why all the monster trucks are pretty much useless as they are very bouncy with no downforce and always throw you up in the air even though uh, sometimes it comes in handy as uh, you do actually manage to jump over several hills but honestly most of the time you do spend a good five seconds in the air and move uh, forward only a few meters so that's uh, re really really pointless now for the disadvantages with the truck as mentioned once you have a vertical slope and you truly don't have enough power, mainly grip, to go over it because you don't have the tracks that the tank has or uh, the small piece of tracks that the actual snowmobile has. And that's where you'll pretty much get truck with the truck. That's where you'll pretty much get stuck with the truck. So then, let's uh, now jump to the best cars to use as of the latest update. Uh, well, they are the race car. You have the truck the tank and of course the snowmobile. Again, each of these is good in some levels. The snowmobile is considered to be the worst car ever as it gets stuck on nearly every small hump as you progress. But due to its small track, it has in the back, it's the only car that actually allows you to progress in the Arctic level and also may have advantages when playing on smooth levels like the alien planet and Mars. Even though you could use it as well on highway, but unfortunately it doesn't have the fuel capacity to compete with the other cars when it comes down to the highway. But uh, we will get to the fuel part later on. Actually at the end I'll discuss the fuel part. Now the tank is great for the maps that have small deep dips and very steep climbs as the tank tracks will surely make short work of that. And of course the cave you need the car that is as close as possible to the ground and as low as possible to the ground and provide enough power which comes uh, with the actual car and including the downforce. Now uh, these two cars are the only two cars that you can pretty much use in the cave, that being the race car and the rally car. But due to the very low front wheels of the race car, which gets you stuck at a point further on in the cave, the rally car is the way to go in terms of playing the cave. In the cave. So uh, the race car is out in terms of uh, the cave level. So truly what is the best car as of this update? So first off, let's throw out all the monster trucks, including the super diesel, because uh, they pretty much suck. Too much time spent in air, and not enough time with uh, spent down giving traction and forward momentum. And uh, let's throw out the race car as well, as it's useful as it does get stuck later on due to its uh, low front end, forward front end, to be more specific. So what we're left with is this. We have the tank. The tank is the best in countryside, desert, forest and the mountain so you should use the tank for these levels the snowmobile you'll have an advantage of course the arctic alien planet and the arctic cave and the truck pretty much is overall the best for the highway now the race car 
of course can be used for the cave and uh, moon and Mars if you'd want that as well but pretty much the race car is used for the cave now let's let's get to the really nice part let's get to the actual high scores uh, the current high scores the current high scores are as of the latest AMG sheet so if you want to match up yours or add yours make sure you supply me with a screenshot and proof uh, that being of course uh, the screenshot that I just mentioned and of course you can check the link in the description below and you'll see where the link is to my actual high score sheet now let me just open it up give me a second and, uh, oh it's pretty cool there's quite a lot of people on it now so for countryside the highest score as of to date is that I got a 6682 meters uh, by a little t on countryside I presume is using the tank and then we have the desert that's 4,837 meters with the tank. That's PS 188. The Arctic is by Little T again, 4,168 meters using the snowmobile. Again, Little T with the highway, 15,204 meters using the truck. You have the cave with the rally car again, Little T with 3,050 meters. Then the moon, 1,862 meters with the race car. That's by PS 118. Back again with Little T on Mars by 1,795 meters using the race car. The snowmobile on the alien planet, 4,641 meters by SM. The Arctic Cave, 1,689 meters by Little T using the snowmobile. And of course, we have the forest, 2,831 meters using the tank by PS 118. And Mountain, 2,333 meters using the tank by S and M. So these are the latest high scores as of the sheet today, that being the 5th of the 2nd of 2013. So we are in May. So... Uh, the 2nd of May of 2013 in case you guys want to watch this much later on and on a side note in terms of the high scores at this level I just missed it by a few meters so you are a 1-1 one, one lucky guy so uh, that that's pretty much it and uh, anyways let's get back to uh, more stuff that we're gonna be having here so now let's discuss of course the final thing that being the fuel consumption the fuel actually as mentioned in my previous episode works as a timer but it doesn't speed up as you go further on but uh, stays the same so here's the time for each car once you pick up your next fuel tank it pretty much fills up the timer resets your timer so the rally car jeep motocross bike monster truck quad and race all of them have 40 second countdown timer so every time you hit the fuel you'll the 40 seconds will come back up to 40 they'll start counting down now the super diesel in the tank has a 60 second timer for the fuel so you got 60 seconds between fuel depots and finally the truck which has 90 seconds so pretty much the truck has the highest countdown timer for the fuel so you have 90 seconds between fuel depots for your actual truck itself that's why the truck is the best on the highway so this pretty much wraps it up again I'd like to say you are one one lucky guy SM on your mountain I would have surely beaten you and I sure as hell will hopefully and uh, as always happy gaming don't forget to check out the high score list and see you guys in another video take care bye